this is ganesh welcome back to ganesh jada automation studio so today we are going to learn about the postman installation for the api testing api stand for the application programming interface so before that we are going to learn some of the short description about the api testing what is meant by the api testing why we are doing what are the benefits of the api testing what are the tools basically we are using so basically what is meant by the api testing so api testing is a type of software testing that analyze an application program interface to verify it fulfill its expected functionality so that is why basically we are doing the api testing so uh, so api testing is a middleware code that enable two software program to communicate with each other so guys like uh, if we have if you are taking an example of the facebook uh, the other like if you getting like taking an example of the flipkart amazon many websites you can take an example so for those websites you can see some of the ui you can see over there guys okay after that like whenever you wanted to perform the actual operations actual actions on that ui that ui is triggered on the middleware like api it is hitting and then api it is hitting to the database so basically any applications we have mainly three layers first layer we have a data layer we are calling it as a database second layer we are calling it as a api layer which is we are calling it as a middle layer middle middle layer layer application programming interface layer we we are calling it and last one top up layer we have which is named as a user interface layer ui layer okay but why we are but why this api testing is important because of guys user interface test are oftenly inefficient for the validating api api service functionality so as multiple times it, it is happen you cannot able to test all edge cases from the ui that is why api testing is very very important and and if you are not doing the api testing it could be a chances this it could be a chances you will left the bug in your software on on the unit level that is why api testing is very very important now api testing allow developer to start testing early in the development cycle before the ui radius like you i i already told you api is a middleware layer guys okay so before the ui ready you must do ready with your apis so guys so guys we must to develop we must to test this api testing we must do this api testing and with the help of this api testing we can enable we can we can build a good quality of product because of we can reduce the flaws of the defect in the api testing okay that is why api testing is very very important then what are the benefits of the api testing so api testing guarantee that connection among the platform are reliable safe and scalable so your api testing is always gives you always gives you the guarantee that the connection among the platform are reliable safe and scalable api test automation requires less cores than the automated gui test resulting in the faster testing and lower overall cost this is again very very biggest advantage guys like whenever you are performing any api test automation definitely you will lay you will uh, require the less line of code than the automation of the ui test cases ui test cases because if you are doing the ui automation at least you need to write down the 6 7 8 9 10 line of code for automating some kind of small scenarios but if you are taking an example of the api testing api automation testing you will uh, require only four five line of code okay this is the biggest difference between the ui automation and api automation now what kind of tool basically we are using so we are using the like in the market a large variety of the api testing is tool is available from ranging from the paid subscription tool or from the open offering open source offering paid subscription means guys if you are going to use that tool you need to pay you need to buy subscription you need to pay something to the company but if you are taking an example of the open source offering tool like if you are taking an example of the swagger ui postman many tools available like open source tool also available so you need not to you need not need to pay anything for using those uh, api tool like postman tool so here today we are going to learn about the postman tool so now i wanted to download the postman tool so for that what i need to do guys i need to search here what i need to search postman download i need to search once i click on this postman download here you can see guys download postman this first website i have so here i need to click over here once i click over here i i will landed on the home page of this postman uh, website and here you can see i will get the first option like windows 64 bit options i i have i just need to click on this options once i click on this options you can see guys 
what you can see the installation not installation downloading is automatically happening over here okay here you can see where is my web ui so i already so i already uh, i mean to say download this website on my local machine so i am cancelling this uh, download download files so here i am just going inside to where guys in inside the download folder and here you can see postman windows 64 setup is already ready over here this is already downloaded file we have 146 mb file we have now here i need to click on this double click on on over here guys once i click on over here the setup will be automatically open like this postman windows 64 setup will be automatically open or uh, open over here guys let's wait for a couple of seconds okay here you can see guys this 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 setup is uh, basically it is it is opening uh, here you can see installing postman so this is automatically installation is happening over here okay so this is how the installation is basically happening over here uh, just wait for a couple of seconds guys it is actually installing uh, the postman usually it is it is not taking it is not taking this much time but maybe due to my performance issue like my laptop performance issue it is it is taking little bit time but on your machines probably it will not take too much time guys now the installation is happening like and the gui like the gui is open over here you can see guys this is how you can see the gui it is also taking quite time Okay, I'm waiting just a minute. Okay, yeah, here it is, it is loading actually. Now, once this is loading is done, here you can see, guys, that this, this is how basically UIs look like. So, what you need to do first of all, you must need to, if you don't have the account, just create an account. If you have the account, just, just uh, do the sign up with, with, with your account. I already have the account. So, here I just need to click on this sign in button. Once I click on this sign in button, here you can see guys the sign in button like sign in options uh, we have getting over here it is again windows is open up over here okay just wait for a couple of seconds Okay, here you can see this is this is how authorization is happening now here it is directly landed on my google page and here i can directly continue with with this postman tool like this is my account ganesh20215 at the gmail.com and this is how basically authentication is happened once this is done i'm just clicking on this open postman tool so this postman tool is automatically open over here guys this is automatically synchronized So this is how basically your postman is opening guys once once you are downloading once you install we just need to close these things over here okay and here here you can like this is the if you don't have the history you already logged in over here okay what you need to do you just need to use the url over here you need to provide the url over here you need to provide the things over here like whatever things you will have you just need to provide the thing which request we are going to use this is these are the HTTP requests and this is how basically we can install the postman on your on our windows machine and this is how how exactly we can install this is the thing i wanted to tell you guys thanks for watching this video if you really like please like this video and please do subscribe my channel thank thank you so much guys